It's just going to be another um, political uh, topic video talking about um, some recent stuff that we have found out about Sarah Palin, the vice presidential nominee for John McCain, and some interesting stuff we have found out her found out about her, you know, past the pa past couple days. And obviously, you know, the main thing that you know the media or anyone's been covering obviously is the fact that her 17-year-old daughter is pregnant. Actually, you know, this is a factor that I agree to totally what um with um what Joe Biden and Barack Obama said, which is, you know, this shouldn't be a factor. This shouldn't even be anything, you know, that's covered in the media. This is just personal life. You know, this whole thing I don't really care about. You know, even though it kind of does, you know, contradict, you know, Sarah Palin's, you know, policies a little because she's, you know, totally, you know, into, you know, no, no sex before you're married and, you know, and it was into, you know, banning um, sexual, sexual education in schools and just teaching absence. So in that case, it kind of makes her seem a little um, contradictional to, her, to, to herself. Um, due to that factor, but yeah, like I said, it shouldn't be a factor, and you know, I don't really care because I mean, stuff like this happens every day. You know, there's you know probably at least a million teenage girls that get pregnant each year, so you know, this isn't anything that doesn't happen. But on the other hand, you know, you see in this case, I think it's smart. You know, the Democrats aren't going against it. You know, it would be completely dumb for them to you know say anything about this. Um, definitely have been good that Barack Obama and Joe Biden's been not saying anything about it, and pretty much most of the Democratic Party has pretty much not said anything, you know, about it at all, you know, going into it, you know, saying anything negative to towards her about it. But on the other hand, you know, you got the Republicans pretty much using it as a factor of helping them. You know, you have people like Glenn Beck, uh, Bill O'Reilly, Ann Coulter, or any of the conservative media, you know, have them basically praising Sarah Palin as a mother, praising her as, you know, she's a common woman, more people, a lot of people can relate to her with this issue, um, but, you know, it's something that's, you know, completely, you know, if this was, on the other hand, if this was Barack Obama's, say if her, if he had, a, one of his daughters was at the age of 17, and one of her, one of his daughters um, was pregnant, um, what would the media be doing then? They will be completely, um, bashing Barack Obama, going against them, and the Republicans, unlike the Democrats, will obviously go against them and use it as a thing to help them out, you know, in, in the political race, which, you know, the Democrats are, you know, pretty much, you know, doing a good thing and not, you know, trying to involve, you know, personal life into politics, which I think is a good thing. But like I said, this would be a totally different issue in the media if this was Barack Obama's 17-year-old daughter. And you know, her policies are, you know, very bad, you know, almost equally as bad as George Bush and John McCain. Um, anyone that's, you know, voting for, and especially if you're a woman and you're voting for Sarah Palin, unless you're, you know, one of those huge Christian right, Christ, um, Jesus freaks, and you're, you know, all into the uh, pro-life and anti-abortion stuff, I can see maybe why you would like her. But other than that, I don't see why you can. And pretty much in this day and age, um, I would say within the female demographic, at least 70 to 75 percent of women want to have the right to pro-choice, you know, have the right to, if they want to choose it, they can have an abortion. Now, not every woman's going to be like, okay, I want to have an abortion, but they at least want to have the choice. Say if something happens, you know, in a, you know, something happens, a woman gets raped, uh, another factor, they're not ready for, to have a kid, they're too young, or, you know, factors like that, financial issues, because, you know, it costs a lot to raise a kid, so issues like that, and women want to have that right, and, you know, Sarah Palin has been so, you know, pro-life that she even went as far as to say if her daughter was raped, she wouldn't let her daughter have an abortion, which, you know, I think that her saying that is going to really hurt her with the female voters that, Possibly she, she could have got a little bit, but even though, you know, a lot of the Hillary Clinton voters are pretty much going for Barack Obama anyway because of her stance on abortion, so she wasn't getting anyone anyway, but, you know, saying that, you know, I can't see any woman, you know, wanting to vote for her, like, vote for her with that, because I don't care how conservative you are, how, you know, um, you know, in, into um, Christianity you are, and um, how pro-life you are. 
I don't think you want to, if say if your daughter or your say if your daughter gets raped, would you want to raise that kid? I don't think so. I think you know conservatives probably even heard that they're like, I'm not going to be raising a motherfucking kid that um, my daughter was uh, got because she got raped. I mean that's just completely idiotic. I mean that's probably you know one of the most disgusting things I've heard you know any politician say, and that's you know coming a lot from George Bush and John McCain. And then, you know, the other factor with the Republican National Convention is they basically used it, you know, the first cup, the first day or so, they've been using the factor of the patriotism. If you don't vote Republican, you're not patriotic and you don't, you know, love America, which is, you know, one of the, another disgusting thing. I mean, just, just because you don't vote Republican, you're not patriotic, which is the most idiotic thing. Um, yeah, sure. If you're a Republican, you're really patriotic. You really care about this country so much that you want to be involved in a war for no reason. Have soldiers die day after day, dozens each day for no apparent reason. Um, to get involved in this whole war over terrorism that, in my opinion, is just a conspiracy to get the um, Saudi oil uh, companies, which... What's the only thing that we have accomplished in the whole Iraq war? And that's to have the control of the Saudi oil companies. That's the only thing we have accomplished in this whole entire war. I know a lot of people you know, don't believe in the whole 9-11 conspiracy. I'm one of those people that actually do believe in the 9-11 conspiracy because if you just look at it, there's a lot of fishy things about the whole you know, 9-11 you know, terrorist attacks or so-called terrorist attacks in my opinion. First off, you know, Okay, the main person that we were going after was Saddam Hussein, um, not Saddam Hussein, Osama bin Laden. And pretty much, you know, after a year or two, you know, pretty much the whole factor of, you know, what we we're supposed to go to Iraq for, go to Afghanistan for, which the war in Afghanistan, that should be the war that we should have been in. And, you know, either, either one I was against for anyway, but if we had to choose one, I think, you know, the Afghan war would have actually made sense invading that country, not Iraq, due to the oil companies. And, you know, the factor of Osama bin Laden, pretty much no one in the media even says anything more about him. The government has basically covered it up and basically hasn't even said they're searching for him anymore, even though I guess he's still on, He's not, I don't think he's even on the FBI terrorist list. So, you know, that looks a little, a little fishy. Then, you know, the day of 9-11, you had... Um, uh, World Trade Center 7, you saw that fall down five, five hours after the whole plane going into one of the um, World Trade Center buildings, and you saw that building just collapse um, in midair and just went poof. So, I mean, it wasn't like, no, I mean, unless that was a demolition thing, you know, that wouldn't have happened. So, that's just my opinion of it. I know a lot of people are probably going to disagree with that, but there's a lot of fishy things about this. And, you know, just these whole last years, last eight years of this presidency um, of George W. Bush, you know, all we had is, you know, war that we should not got into, kept tell getting lied to by the government and everything like that. And, you know, now the Republicans are still using the same factors, trying to scare America into voting Republican, which sadly they um, actually accomplished in 2004 when they um, had George Bush win again over John Kerry, which was unfortunate because I thought um, John Kerry could have been a good president and, you know, definitely would have done a whole lot better than George Bush. I don't think anyone's going to do worse than George Bush, but this whole John McCain and Sarah Palin presidency could possibly do worse than George Bush, which... You know, that's just a complete nightmare that anything could be worse than George Bush's eight years of presidency. And this whole patriotic thing just is disgusting that, oh, if you don't vote Dem um, Republican, you're not patriotic. I mean, and then you have um, Rudy Giuliani, like everyone was expecting. You heard him throw around 9-11 terrorism every five fucking minutes in his speech, if not more than that. He probably threw it in every minute or two in his speech. You know, the Republicans are just trying to do the same thing, trying to scare America into voting for Republicans. And I think the way these last eight years have been, I hopefully, um, hopefully this time America isn't going to fall for it. But, 
you know, the way America is, it, it will not shock me, because there are some nimwits and dumb fucks in America, as George Carlin said in one of his famous um, rants on voting in America back in one of his stand-ups. And, um, you know, other stuff, we obviously, you know, stuff like that is just completely, I uh, keep, um, the Republicans are just trying to scare you into so wanting to vote for them. Hopefully, you know, like I said, people don't fall for it. Like I said, after the, you know, Sarah Palin, her stance on, you know, abortion, and she's, you know, so pro-life that she said she will want to have her daughter still have the ch child, even if her daughter was raped, which is one of the sickest things I think anyone could say, you know. I mean, that's probably one of the sickest things. I mean, I don't care how, you know, like I said, how pro-life and conservative you are, but I don't think even conservative would want to raise a kid um, that was um, that was born due to a rape incident. I don't think anyone would want that. And, 